Sounds good, Caitlin. Thanks very much. Former Olympic swimmer Summer Sanders joins us now this morning. You know, she won four medals during the 1992 Olympics. Two of them she gold. She actually she parted with them and let us wear them. Oh my gosh. They have, they have a few dings on them. Just a little <laughs> That's wear good, and tear, though. but lots of love. Well, oh, you know, Olympians you. do it different. You know, some of them lock them away and, and mm -hmm. put them up. You obviously are carrying them around and letting people enjoy them. My medals spend a lot of time <laughs> in my sock drawer. They need to get out and see the world, and Milwaukee is the place for it. Well, thank you so much yeah. for being here, Summer. And you're here for a very important reason, uh, separate from swimming, that people might not be aware of about varicose veins. You had to deal with this problem? Yeah, well, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of things can lead to varicose veins. Hereditary, so my mom and my dad both have them. Pregnancy, being on your feet quite a bit. Um, and I discovered mine when I was pregnant with my, my second child, my son, who coincidentally is named Spider, which I think is nice. so ironic. <laughs> but we're on a national road show spreading the word. Milwaukee is one of our stops to let people know that the, the procedure has changed. It's much less invasive. Um, it's not just a cosmetic issue, so we are encouraging people to go to RethinkVaricoseFeins.com, take the self-assessment uh, test, check out your legs, reintroduce yourself to your legs, it's summertime, um, but really about taking charge of your health. Uh, I was living at 80%, I was running marathons, and I'd get, I'd get done with my day and I'd just feel that, that achy heaviness, that annoying like itch you can't scratch. Uh, and I just decided that I didn't want to live that way anymore. I got the procedure and my legs are so much lighter. That Do you it's, feel it's like shocking. it's so important for someone like you to be out with this message? Because obviously you're a, a world champion athlete, an Olympic champion. You're obviously quite beautiful, you know, so I think. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, well you know, obviously, like, yeah. you know, I, there's a I, stigma right. maybe attached with it. And when someone like you comes out and says, look, this is okay. You can deal with this. That's you important. know, it's it is. I thought I was going to be one that was going to slip by. My mom had them since I was a baby because she got them when she was pregnant with me. She'll joke and say they're hereditary. You get them from your kids. So <laughs> you um, I used to call them very close veins. So I knew what they were all about. But I really thought I was going to slip by because I kept myself in good shape. I was mm -hmm. active. Right. But like I said, there are other variables you have to consider. Being on your feet all day, uh, pregnancy, and hereditary. And then obviously it comes into your, your decision making with your health and things. But for me, I thought I was going to be fine. And I wasn't. And I think that's why I'm so passionate about this message. Um, today I'm actually going to be at the Vein Guys Vein Clinic Pavilion in Wisconsin, of Wisconsin in um, Germantown from 11 to 1. So if you want to come out and get assessed, take a look at your legs. I'll take a look at your legs. <laughs> the cool. professionals will take a look at your legs. Well, I think that's a great point because a lot of women do deal with this. Now, let's talk a little bit yes. more about Summer Sanders yes. and what you've been doing since the Olympics. Because looking at your body, you're, you're like doing reality shows, you're, you're running marathons, all sorts of really I great things. I used to slime things. people. I used to <laughs> hang with NBA players. Yeah. I was here in Milwaukee with the Bucks quite often. Um, I've had a really blessed life. I have appreciated every stage. Um, I, as soon as I, I hung up my swimsuit, so to speak, uh, I started to work in television. It was my dream. It's what I wanted to do. I'm sure you guys had uh, similar dreams. Doing such a great job now. Um, but I did. I, started, I worked on Nickelodeon. Um, Inside Stuff was one of my favorite shows mm -hmm. I ever did. Now I have two kids. I have a five and a seven-year-old. Uh, I just turned 40 last year. I feel like I'm in a really good place. And I just started a new series on MSN called Find Your Fitness, oh, cool. where I'm literally trying different fitness trends and uh, everything from like a pound class where you literally pound like you're drumming on the floor while you're working out oh, cool. to stand up paddleboard yoga. So everyone should check that out. And you're going to be at a swim meet tonight as well. I you're still in the swimming. I am the Rec Plex, so I'm going to be hanging with my chlorinated friends. <laughs> I'm going to be there from 5.30 to 6.30, and I'm so excited. A lot of, uh, of my swimmer friends have been tweeting me saying they're, they're excited to be a part of it. So any chance I get to be around the pool, I take it, and especially in a day like today. Right, it's beautiful. That's at in Pleasant Prairie. So yes, if anybody exactly. wants to say hi, Summer Sanders making her Wisconsin tour today. That's great. Yeah. So good to see you. It's thanks nice for coming back and including and us thanks on for the this tour. Nice yeah, present. go ahead and keep I mean, up. Really, mm -hmm. That's very generous yeah. of you. <laughs> nice to meet you. They're sir. chocolate inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> coming up on Live at Daybreak on today's TMJ.